Hey guys, today I'll show you how to make a free email server with multiple domains using AA panel, Rocknerd, and Cloudflare. So this method is not intended for spamming, but this is intended for cold email marketing or business email and transactional emails. So what you'll need are, of course, a VPS with open port 25 that like Rocknerd VPS or Contabo and you need to install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS operating system and of course you need domains you can use Namecheap and connect Namecheap to Cloudflare a free account of Cloudflare will do and of course a simple uh, knowledge of a Linux command line and let's start. Let's go to Rocknerd VPS. Okay, uh, if you want to use Rocknerd, you need to use the KVM VPS, not the AMD Ryzen. You can choose KVM and be sure to choose at least 2 GB of RAM. And of course, you need to choose Los Angeles because they have IP v6 and choose Ubuntu 22.04 64-bit and if you don't have an account you can just create an account or if you already have an Rocknerd account you can just pay your uh, VPS using PayPal credit card uh, cryptocurrency wire transfer and just complete your order once you have completed your order Rocknerd will send you the login details for your VPS control panel as well as your root password. If you want to choose Contabo, let's go to Contabo. Okay, just choose Cloud VPS and you can start with uh, Cloud VPS 1. Okay, if you don't want to pay for the set of fee, you need to choose 12 months. But if you uh, want to try Contabo for one month, you need to pay for a set of fee. But right now, they don't have a set of fee. It's actually European Championships. And uh, you can choose United States. Or if you are in Asia, you can choose Singapore or Japan. And if you are um, storage oriented, you can choose a four gigabyte or four hundred gigabyte rather of a, a storage. But if you want the fastest one, you uh, choose the NVMe. And here for image, you choose Ubuntu twenty two point zero four LTS. And uh, assign a password for your root, and that's it. You can now. Um, proceed to your uh, Contabo payment. So I'll be using Rocknerd for this tutorial. Okay, now I am here on my VPS control panel and first thing we need to do is set our host name. So I've set mine to my domain. You can do that by going to host name. Just type your domain here. It will be webshanks. That's up. And of course, you need to check your IP for any block list. So I'll just copy this one. Let's go to MX Toolbox. Paste your IP here and click blacklist check. Okay, our IP is clean. Let's close this one. Next, you need to ask for a free IPv6. You need only one. So go to Rocknerd support and tell them that you need an IPv6. And we will set our reverse DNS to webshanks.shop, your domain, to IPv4 and IPv6. Okay, so now if you have your IPv6 with you, let's start um, installing AA panel so you need to you need to use an SSH client I will be using Bitvice it's free 
so I will put a link on the description down below so that you can download the free SSH client so I'll be running Bitwaze so put your host here your IPv4 and use uh, root as your username if you want more advanced and secure logins you need to use SSH keys I have um, created a tutorial about generating SSL keys so that you can securely log into your server but if you want to try for now we'll need to log into our server using root so just click login click accept and save and paste your password here so your password is sent to you by uh, um, email so hit ok so let's open a terminal console so we need to update our server first let's check if there's an update Apt update dash y okay now we will install a panel so the script is found in their website but I have also put it on my blog tutorial to make it easier for you so I'll just copy this one this is the script and just paste it here right click your mouse and hit enter So just choose Y. Okay, we have successfully installed a panel. So this is your address. We will access this to our browser. So just click advanced, click accept the risk and continue. And be sure to place this on a safe place so this is our username is it here okay let's click finish So okay, we need to install this stack instead of lamp stack. We will use Ninks. So we will use the latest version, and we will use MySQL 8.0. Okay, just ignore this one. We need at least a PHP 8.0, PHP MyAdmin 5.2 and be sure to check this to here the DNS server and mail server 4 just click one click so in this part it will take some time to install these stocks and you might want to grab some coffee or snacks okay so I have installed all necessary software packages and if your installation got stopped just close this message box and you need to go here and click this um, yellow, uh, orange or something and check your message list and all are installed but if you get stuck really stuck you need to restart your panel so just click restart and just confirm and next we will go to settings 
we will use a domain to access our AA panel not the IP address so let's go to settings and go to panel setting scroll down and put your domain here do not use your uh, root domain instead you can use a subdomain webshanks.shop and be sure you have an A record for this subdomain so let me go to my Cloudflare and I have added my two domains here for this tutorial I have connected this to my Namecheap account so that I will be using Cloudflare alone so let me go to my domain here webshanks.shop and I'll add a subdomain panel and I'll just copy this IP address of my server and just click save so we'll just wait for a few minutes for this subdomain to propagate okay so once your subdomain is propagated uh, just click save okay now we will set our panel here so that will be panel that web shanks that shop so let's go back to our terminal copy this one and paste it here so just click to jump and if you face this error you might want to use okay I'll just copy this one and use an incognito so let's go to private browsing and paste our login link here click advanced click accept the risk and continue so it's not yet uh, secure we will log into our AA panel first okay, paste it here and login okay great and now let's go to settings and let's scroll down so just click set here and we will use um, a custom um, certificate so that is where zero SSL comes in so create a free account on zero SSL so let's go to zero SSL I'm gonna close this one so just um, create a free account so and create new certificate so this is a pro if you want a pro you can use this one but we will use our free options enter your AA panel subdomain here click next step we will use 90 day certificate because one year is pro okay we don't need to use this three just click next step and just choose uh, free and click next step and we will need to verify our domain so I will be using the DNS CNAME so I'll go to my DNS provider which is Cloudflare and add a CNAME so just copy this name to here and the target will be this one I'll just don't 
use the proxy and for time to live it will be auto so just click save and we'll wait for a few minutes for this uh, DNS record to start propagating okay let's go to next step and verify domain okay, great we need to download uh, the certificate okay perfect so download certificate and we'll open this one so let's open the private key first and paste it here on the key next the certificate that CRT so I'll just open this one with a notepad so I'll just copy this one paste it here and just click save let's close this one and we'll refresh our panel Okay, great we have secured our panel so now let's proceed to our email configuration so let's go to App Store and search for Redis we will install Redis just click install you confirm Okay, we'll wait for the installation to finish. Okay, let's close this again and let's try to see if this is installed. Okay, great. We have installed Redis. Let's go to setting. And let's go to performance tuning and we'll set the password for Redis so be sure it will be a secure one so I'll be using a password generator for a secure password and just click save and let's go to mail server You might want to display this on the home page so just toggle this one on and we'll go to setting okay we will just confirm and be sure your details here are all green ready and just click submit Okay, perfect. But first, I will be enabling IPv6 on my server. So I will be using Bitbase again, a new terminal. I will be using the terminal with the password and username. So let's go to Nano. We will enable IPv6. Just scroll down. Okay, we will set this net IPv6 to zero so that we can enable IPv6. Just control X, Y, and enter. And we will reboot our 
server. Okay, let's uh, log in again. So just copy this security characters and paste it here. And your username and password. Okay, now your mail server is on your home dashboard. So just click the mail server. Okay, we'll add a domain. Chunks that shop. So you must have an A record before you add a domain. So I have my A record here and just click submit. So before adding MX record, SPF, DKM, and DMARC, we will add an SSL so just click SSL we will use Cloudflare and we will use Cloudflare's global API so that will be your Cloudflare email address so the API key let's go to Cloudflare so click overview Scroll down and get your API token and just click view. Okay, let's verify. Click view and just copy this API key, paste it here and click save. And be sure to check this uh, domain. You want to add an SSL to and just click apply okay it will take a few moments okay perfect so let's close this one and let's start adding the max record, SPF, DKM, and DMARC. So just click this one. So let's start with MX record. So it will be at. So let's go back to our websites. So let's add an MX record. So that will be at. Let's move the space and priority will be 10. Click save. Okay, let's add an SPF. It will be a text record. Okay, text. It will be add and paste it here. So before saving here, I'll be adding an our IPv4 and IPv6. So oh, sorry, our IPv4. IP4. And let's go back to our control panel. Copy this IP. Paste it here, and we'll add IP6. So let's go to network and copy your IPv6. just click save that is for SPF and let's copy the domain key another text paste it here and copy the default dot underscore domain key click 
save add another record that would be the D mark so it will be D mark underscore D mark and paste it here so just click save and we'll wait for a few minutes for this DNS records propagate okay let's um, verify our domain resolution okay all good and let's create a user so this will be your mailbox okay say drew and drew at webchance.shop and I will use a secure password and just click submit okay now let's test our email server so let's go to send mail so I will be using the email I have just created so first let's go to mail test tester okay I'll just copy this email address paste it here and I will be using a template I'll be using this email template and I'll use this as the subject so, okay I'll just click send okay perfect okay we'll try our score and we got a 10 over 10 score so here is our email address and the only yellow here is we don't have a list unsubscribe I have um, created a video for this on how to make this all green and all good here so let's try to send to Gmail AOL mail and Proton mail so webshanks one com shanks at proton me webshanks at aol.com I will need to paste this email template oh sorry so this will be not the theme it will be the recipient sorry about that and the theme will be our subject so just click send okay I'll open all the emails okay let's start with Gmail okay great we have received it directly on our inbox what about proton mail okay let's refresh okay perfect okay receive it on directly on inbox what about AOL mail okay let's check AOL mail okay let's go to inbox Okay, perfect. We did it on our. We received it directly on our inbox. So we have set the first domain, and now for multiple domains, we need to add 
another domain. So I will be adding a domain. Okay, I'll just click this mail server. So I'll be adding a domain name called webshanks.online. So I'll just copy this one with the A record and be sure you have an A record. Okay, I'll go to Cloudflare. Okay. I'll just go to webshanks.online, go to DNS. And I have added an A record. So, okay, we're good. Click Submit. And of course, we need to add an SSL first before setting up uh, these records. So add SSL. So choose Cloudflare. We already have configured Cloudflare a while ago. So we'll just choose our domain name and click Apply. Okay, great okay let's close this one and let's start adding the amex record first so let's go back okay we'll add an amex record it will be at e10 so just click save And I'll just copy this one for our SPF text record. Be at. So if you have delivery issues, you might want to use tilde for soft fail. So I will be using the soft fail instead of hard fail, which is the dash so just click save next for the domain key another text record so I'll just copy the domain a default domain key click save and finally the dmark And be sure to, if you have a mail too, you need to create a dedicated email address for this one so that uh, the email service providers will send you a receipt on what happens to your uh, emails. So just click save. And we'll wait for a few minutes for the DNS to propagate. Okay, let's verify. So just click here. Okay, okay, let's check our D mark. It's still not set. Okay, let's try to verify again. okay great and let's create a user okay I will still use Drew to be Drew I'll use a secure password and let's test our newly added email with new domain so instead of using the webmail I'll be using a Thunderbird and we'll use our SMTP and IMAP relay so we'll use this as an email so just open your Thunderbird so that will be Drew 
at webchunks dot online so the password I'll just paste the password here and click continue you can also use this SMTP relay on your smartphone and I'll just configure manually here IMAP's good but we will use start TLS instead of um, SSL or TLS so just click done and click finish so we will send an email to gmail and proton mail and okay that will be AOL mail so I'll be using this email template okay. So just click send. Okay, perfect. Let's go to our um, Okay, great. We received this directly on our inbox. What about Proton mail. Okay, perfect. It we received it on directly on our inbox. What about AOL mail? What about spam? Okay, it went spam. I think that the okay, I think the top level domain that online is not quite uh, good when it comes to delivery to Yahoo so be sure to use that com that AI or dot net dot org and do not use that uh, loans that link that art or something else for uh, delivery and that's it I hope you learned something new on my tutorial so this is how you will create a multi-domain email server with multiple emails and uh, a panel is a good uh, mail server and it keeps updating if you have any questions just comment them on the comments section down below and I'll try to answer them all and if this video helped you in any way, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on my next video.